December 15, 1927, the day of the abduction, a well-dressed man wearing a heavy grayish-brown overcoat, black shoes, and a dark hat named Mr. Cooper entered Mount Vernon Junior High School and requested to see the Parker girl right away. He convinced the school registrar, Miss Mary Holt, to allow Marion to leave with him by falsely claiming that her father was his boss and that he was in a terrible car accident. When Mr. Cooper asked for the Parker girl, Miss Holt then asked which one. This seemed to have shocked Mr. Cooper, and then he replied, Marion. The school secretary, Naomi Flinton, brought Marion to the office, where she was excused to leave with Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper said to Marion, Don't cry, little girl. I'll take you to your daddy, as she climbed into the passenger side of a coupe. This will be the last time 12-year-old Marion would be seen alive. Concern arises at the Parker home when one daughter, Marjorie, returns without her twin, Marion. Geraldine then telephoned the twins' friends and parents. No one had seen Marion or could provide any possible whereabouts.